so we got the waiters on now but well, I think we're ready to go today we're going out in the Danish National Park the Danish Wadden Sea we're going about three kilometers out this way to the oyster banks so this is where it all begins on the mud flats here the Danish Wadden Sea is one of the ten most important wetland areas in the uh, world and that's because we have uh, somewhere between 10 and 12 million migrating birds coming here every spring to eat before they migrate further to the north for the breeding. I just got my compass with me. We uh, have some long distances here to walk and if uh, it starts to rain or if it's get a bit foggy here we can't actually see where we're going. So I just make sure that we always get back to the mainland again. So right now we have a low tide and that means that you actually can walk about 10-20 kilometers this way. But it's really important to get back to the mainland before the high tide comes in. In 6 hours and 12 minutes we get a high tide and the difference here in this part of the one sea is 1 meter and 70. So the water level will, will come about this high. So this is the first oyster bank here in the Wadden Sea. I think we should see if we could find some oysters here. Here we have the Pacific oyster. The oysters here are actually from uh, about Japan. It was brought here about 20 years ago to Germany and 10 years after that it actually invaded the Danish Wadden Sea. No animals here in the Wadden Sea are capable of eating this species here unless you are human and you got this oyster knife with you. I also brought this piece here because the oysters here are actually quite sharp. And I'll try if I can put my knife in the hinge. Okay, the knife went in well. And I just have to twist it now. Oh, you can hear it. You can actually see some of the water coming out of the oyster here. And that's because they can have a lot of oxygen uh, for these six hours when we don't have any water here. They're quite strong, these animals. This is the oyster here. And if you have a close look here, you can actually see the gills. It's quite delicate. And I know that a lot of people eat these oysters because it's really healthy for you. If you would like to eat it like this, natural, you would probably bring some lemon with you, just to give it a twist of lemon. You could also bring some champagne with you, if that's what you like. <laughs> 